I'm going out on the limb and making the bold prediction, despite what happened. Vivek Ramaswamy is going to be Donald Trump's pick for VP. <laughs> Viva Fry, former Montreal litigator turned current Florida rumbler, and my goodness, has there been some scandalous controversy? Yeah, right? This one's good. I have to go pull out a child's tooth. Hold on one second. No. It, it's, it, it's too, too late. It's out. It's out. It, it did it. <laughs> Where did it go is the question. All right, tooth pulled, mission accomplished. Back to the vlog. There has been some drama in Iowa. Yesterday, as of the time of shooting this vlog, Donald Trump puts out a tweet or a truth post, a post on Truth Social, and he has gone after Vivek Ramaswamy and it has thrown people out of... People don't know what to do with it. How has Trump turned on Vivek? This is what the Truth Social post said. Donald J. Trump at Real Donald Trump on Truth. Vivek started his campaign as a great supporter, quote, the best president in generations, end quote, etc. Unfortunately, now all he does is disguise his support in the form of deceitful campaign tricks. Very slow. Lie, but a vote for Vivek is a vote for the, quote, other side, end quote. Don't get duped by this. Vote for, quote, Trump, end quote. Don't waste your vote. Vivek is not MAGA. The Biden indictments against his political opponent will never be allowed in this country. They are already beginning to fall. MAGA, three exclamation points, January 13, 2024, at 5.45 p.m. So Trump posts this truth social thing, and it ends up everywhere on the interwebs, but especially Twitter, and everyone on Twitter starts chiming in. Look at this. Trump has turned on Vivek, but betrayal, yada, yada, yada. Most people don't know the exact context behind Trump's truth social post. And it was brought to my attention. And I've got to say, Vivek responded with class. But I think even in his response, he acknowledges that he might have crossed a certain line. But for those of you who don't know, Trump was responding to two posts in particular from Vivek Ramaswamy, one of which he was posing with a bunch of people wearing shirts that said, save Trump, vote Vivek. And you can understand how that might irk President Donald Trump, former president, potentially future president Donald Trump. And the other was a video in which he was telling a potential supporter, don't vote for Trump at the Iowa caucuses, vote for Vivek, because if you vote for Trump, you are sending Trump to the gallows, so save Trump by voting Vivek. Here's the video. Scared of you, just they like are. They're scared of Trump. Oh, they're, they are scared. And they will of stop at nothing, but we're not going to let him get away with it. I've got fresh legs. I'm not wounded. I think they will stop at nothing to stop them. Stop Trump. I am. It's sad, but it's the truth. It's the sad, but it's the truth. So I'm but asking you do your part, and we're going to. You know, we're not. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Meet people like you. Young, we're going to do this, and that's where our founding fathers were. Yes. It's 1776 moments. So I want your support at that Iowa caucus. I I'm, get emotional. I, I, I'm emotional about this country. I need your support on Monday night. You do this, I'm going to do my part. Okay, you're, you're picking at my shell. You are. You want to save Trump, you vote for me. I'm telling yeah. you that. You, have, you vote for Trump. You're sending He's him. A sledge no, but you're sending him to his own demise. You're, you're falling into the trap that not only a country's falling in, that he's falling. You want to save Trump, you vote for me. I need your support at the Iowa caucus. That is the backdrop. That is the broader context. That is the political environment in which Trump sent out his tweet. So you could sort of understand the use of the term deceitful and sly, where some might come to the conclusion that telling people to not vote for Trump and to vote for you to save Trump is somewhat deceitful, or at the very least, it's sort of inducing despair into people to take away a Trump vote and bring it over to Vivek. And I swear to you, I think Vivek might actually somewhat acknowledge that in his response to Trump truth social thing. You know what I'm saying? In his response to Trump's truth post, Vivek, I think, somewhat acknowledged it. His response was perfect. And here is his response. On Twitter, Vivek Ramaswamy at Vivek G. Ramaswamy. Yes, I saw President Trump's truth social post. It's an unfortunate move by his campaign advisors. I don't think friendly fire is helpful. Donald Trump was the greatest president of the 21st century, and I'm not going to criticize him in response to this late attack. I've met tens of thousands of Iowans across 390 plus events here, and they are deeply worried and so am I that this, quote, system, end quote, won't allow Donald J. 
Trump anywhere near the White House again. It seems they will stop at nothing to keep him away from power. I'm worried for Trump. I'm worried for our country. I've stood up against the persecutions against Trump and I've defended him at every step. I showed up at the Miami courthouse in solidarity following his first federal indictment. I filed a FOIA demand to the Biden DOJ. I submitted an amicus brief this week with the U.S. Supreme Court calling on them to overturn Colorado's ruling. I pledged to remove myself from Maine's and Colorado's primary ballots if they removed Trump, calling on DeSantis and Haley to do the same. But we have to open our eyes. Last time, it was a man-made pandemic and big tech election interference. Now the same billionaires funding the lawsuits against Trump are the ones trying to prop up Nikki Haley. The same MSM blasting Trump is lavishing praise on Nikki. They want to narrow this to a two-horse race between Trump and Haley, eliminate Trump one way or other, and trot their puppet into the White House. We can't fall for that trap. One year from now, we won't look back and say we were shocked that it happened. We'll kick ourselves for not stopping it. Our moment must live on. America First didn't start in 2016. It started in 1776. We owe it to our founding fathers to do the right thing for our country. I want to save Trump and to save this country. Let's do it together. You won't hear any friendly fire from me. That is Vivek's response to Trump's Truth Social post. It's a perfect response, I dare say, because I think it admits of a little bit of culpability. There will be no friendly fire from Vivek towards Trump. But I do think somewhere in there, maybe I'm reading into it, but it does seem to potentially acknowledge that maybe he sort of overstepped the bounds. He's got a mission. He believes that they will not let Trump near the White House, but maybe he sort of crossed over a line by saying, save Trump by voting for me at the Iowa caucuses, whatever. But getting back to my prediction now, I'm not saying this judgmentally. I'm saying it politically, strategically. There was a little bit of subservience in that response to Trump. Some people are going to say, oh, it's Trump yanking the collar, letting Vivek know who's in charge. Maybe. And it's a strategically, uh, politically wise response from Vivek to say, I may have crossed a line. I'm not going to push back on you. This is my mission. This is what I meant by everything that I'm doing. Now we move along. What would be the greatest assurance to protect Trump in the event that the deep state, the Democrats, the system does not allow Trump to get to the White House? Vivek Ramaswamy as VP. Now, the other day, I had Vivek on the channel for an interview, and he basically opened the door wide open to him being Trump's VP. Now, I had asked him a question, what position would he accept in a Trump administration? And he said, look, it's beyond our egos. I would definitely have Trump as a VP. And then towards the end of that answer, he explicitly left open the door, overtly suggested he would be open to Trump's VP. If you hypothetically were to accept any position in the Trump administration, what would be the ideal position that you would love to, oh to be God, in charge of? What kind of framing is that, man? People come to our events asking if I would make Trump my vice president. And I think that that's actually, if we don't view this as a hierarchy, right? If it's about ego, then it's about a hierarchy. But if you're viewing it about actually the country, I, I think that's, a, that's actually not a crazy way to go. And I think it's because, look, you get to be an outsider once. I think that I'd rather lose an election than to win by playing some fake game of political snakes and ladders. And if you want somebody who's actually going to face down the deep state and speak truth to power, then vote for somebody who's going to speak the truth to you. And so if Donald Trump and I were having a conversation, we say, we'll leave it to the people and let the people decide. And you know, as these people have suggested, would I take Trump as my advisor or vice president or whatever? And if not, if the people want it the other way, we flip flop roles. I think that could be a reasonable conversation to have. But it's not about me and it's not about him. It's about the country. And I think we got to take all of our egos out of it, and do the right thing. And I'll give you my word that my ego isn't going to get in the way of this at any step of the way either, because we owe it to this country. And along the same veins, last week, you saw Vivek Ramaswamy put out what I think is the boldest of predictions that after the Iowa caucuses, DeSantis is going to drop out and become Nikki Haley's VP. Next up, I'm going to make a prediction. You're actually going to see Ron DeSantis join Nikki Haley's ticket. He's going to be her VP. The whole game, it's hiding in plain sight. Whatever it takes. And this system will stop at nothing. And I mean nothing to eliminate Donald Trump from contention. It's disgusting. But the same people who have said they're not gonna actually take a principled stand against Trump's removal from the ballot. Haley and DeSantis are both in that category. Do the math, people, that's next up. Ron DeSantis is after Iowa, everybody, including Chris Christie, apparently got a phone call from Ron DeSantis. Panicked was the word that Chris Christie used. This is the way the plot's going. Ron may not know this. Ron DeSantis may not know this, but that's what his donors are gonna make him do. On my channel, we always talk a lot about confession through projection as though it's a bad thing, and more often than not, it is a bad thing. You accuse others of what you're doing. You see in others the flaws that you know exist in yourself. Other times, it's not a judgmental thing. It's sort of like a telegraphing your strategy type thing where you sort of 
assume, accuse, or even let your adversaries know by way of your prediction of their next move what your next move is going to be. So it's very interesting when Vivek Ramaswamy looks at DeSantis and says he's going to drop out and become Nikki Haley's VP, some might say, strategically speaking, he might be telegraphing his next move, which is to drop out sooner than later and become Donald Trump's VP. And that would be the very insurance that Vivek Ramaswamy is talking about in terms of Trump ascending to the White House. And if he gets stopped, at least we've got Vivek Ramaswamy, who is the only one on the field making the same points that Trump is making. And he's the only one on the field that I think really is as anti-establishment as they come in the good sense. When Vivek predicts that DeSantis is going to drop out and become Nikki Haley's VP, he might be admitting what he's planning to do himself. He might be seeing it in others because he's thinking it himself. He might be telegraphing it so that when it happens, you could have read the writing on the wall if you had pieced it all together. That is my prediction, but at the very least, that is an explanation as to the drama in the GOP primaries. It's drama. I don't like it. I see people fighting with each other who should not be fighting with each other. This is going to have to come to an end sooner than later and everyone's going to have to rally together. And even in the heat of battle, however, you have to make sure not to say things that can't be be unsaid, do things that can't be undone. When Kamala Harris basically suggested in no uncertain terms that Joe Biden was a racist because he was behind the very busing segregation policies that Kamala Harris grew up with, when she basically said to the entire world, Joe Biden is a racist, and then she accepts his VP appointment, that is hypocrisy of the highest order, and that's what we have to make sure it doesn't happen. On the other side, there's some fighting. It's dirtier than dirty, and I wish it weren't happening right now. That's why I like Vivek Ramaswamy's response. I think baked into it is the implicit acknowledgement that he will accept the position of VP for Trump, and people out there playing the identity politics game, saying, now nah, he can't pick a man, he's got to pick a woman. I hate these games. I hate when we look at people and reduce them to aspects of identity politics, race, religion, creed, color, gender sexual, whatever. I hate it. But to the extent that people are doing that, and you think he's got to pick a woman because he's got to check off that box, picking the first American of Indian descent for VP who could become the first American of Indian descent president, you check off that identity politics box. So thinking it has to be a woman for that reason works against you. That's my prediction. I'm sticking to it. At the very least, get out there, talk to people, say hi, try to build bridges instead of burn bridges, but I'm not always good at doing that myself. So as my father always said, do as I say, not as I do, but most importantly, exercise, sunlight, talk to people in real life. And most importantly, if you want to support my channel, what we do here, vivabarnslaw.locals.com, vivivafry on Twitter, vivafry on Rumble, snip, clip, share away. Most importantly, now you know your vlog. Now we're done. Peace out, peeps. Loyalty to the nation all the time, loyalty to the government when it deserves it, Mark Twain. My goodness, has this guy literally said everything smart under the sun? It's not fair. Had I been born at that time, I would have thought of all these things as well. He was just lucky enough to be born for me. Okay, vlog's over.